Hi. <laughs> so, um, always that stupid laugh when I start. So today I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been loving because I'm pretty sure that every time I do a video about things that I've been hating, I start to feel really guilty and I have to share things that I love. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where it comes from. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, first I want to thank Karma for sponsoring this portion of the video. They are formerly known as Shop Tigers. They're rebranding. If you guys don't know what Karma is, it's an app and a Chrome extension that uses clever tech to make sure that you never miss a price change or price drop ever again. So they changed their name to Karma because they're expanding their capabilities and it's supposed to reflect the good karma that they're putting out there, helping people shop and save money. So you guys have heard me talk about formerly Shop Tiger Karma uh, before, but basically I use it to save money on everything. I think I mentioned to you guys that I've been obsessed with home decor. So that's what I've been using it for the most. And the nicest thing is that like I'll get notifications on my phone whenever something on Wayfair goes on sale. And I've been buying so many things, but thankfully not at full price. So basically it's an extension that you download onto Chrome, then you can go to any website and then you can save things to your list. And when there are any kind of price changes or sales, Karma will send you a notification. If you download the mobile app, they will also send you a notification on your phone, which is nice because you're not always like by your computer checking your email. So then if you get a notification that one of your items has gone on sale, then you can go on the website and as you're checking out Karma, it will scan the internet for the best coupon codes. You kind of, you see it working. It's like really adorable. And you see them test out all of the coupon codes to find the best one for you. Just keep in mind that the coupon feature is only available on computers, which is why it's just good to have like the Chrome extension and the app. They also have cash back feature via P PayPal. So on certain websites, you'll get like a certain percent back which is amazing because it just helps you save extra money on your shopping. So if you're interested in Karma, it's free to sign up. You don't have to pay for anything, you know, so I will link all of that stuff down below. Um, and it's just great to use so that you make sure that you're like saving the maximum amount of money that you can. So thank you Karma for sponsoring this portion of the video. Uh, and now we're gonna talk about a bunch of fashion, makeup and skincare, all the things that I've been loving currently. <laughs> Um, okay, so I guess I'll start off with, I have like a ton of stuff. I have home stuff, I have skincare, I have makeup. Um, I guess I'm gonna start off with makeup because it's stuff that I'm wearing on my face right now. So the first one that I want to share with you is, hold on, there's like a hair in it. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> are the uh, Milani cream blushes. These are the ones in, they have like a few different ones. I think they have some that are like in a squeeze tube. I actually can't remember, but these are the, dude, what are they called? I don't even know, but this is a, a new shade 220 Eura Peach uh, Cheek Kiss Blush. And it's what I'm wearing today. It's super light and pretty. You can build it up and make it a little bit more pigmented or you can kind of like blend it out for like a more fair skin, skin tone. One of the reasons that I love the Milani blushes so much is that they don't make your skin overly wet. There are a lot of cream blushes that are super popular right now, like the Rare Beauty one. And um, I've, been, I've been loving the Melt Cosmetics uh, blushes. But what I love about this formula is that it's like, it's very neutral. It's not too wet, it's not too dewy, uh, but it's not too matte either. So it kind of gives your skin just like a very healthy sheen, especially in the summertime, I end up getting like real oily for whatever reason, especially in my T-zone. So I've been loving these, they're super easy to use and they have like a really beautiful color range. Oh, I just really like it and I thought I should tell you about it. That's first. So that's super affordable, but the next one's kind of bougie. Sorry. Um, so I have kind of a complicated relationship with La Mer. I've tried like a few La Mer products that I don't like. You guys, if you saw my I don't like it, my last I don't like it video, then you saw the eye cream. And I've recently been trying their like creme de La Mer, like the whatever cream, you know? And I don't like it. I think it was like breaking out my skin. But this is the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation. It's got SPF 30. This is in the shade 23 Sandstone. And I actually really love it. I'm wearing it today. I haven't been using, it's a foundation powder and I don't really use foundation powders. Mostly because number one, I don't know how to use them. What am I using a powder foundation for? Number two, the ones that I have tried are always very drying and kind of chalky. What I like about this is it adds a little bit extra coverage where I need it, you know? I used it to set like, uh, part portions of my face, basically like the outer perimeter of my face, but it's so smooth and soft and it kind of just like gives my skin a really airbrushed kind of velvety look and I'm really loving it, but it's so expensive because it's La Mer. So 
I wanted to share this with you just because it's the only powder foundation that I've actually liked. Like I've tried the Fenty one, I've tried the Urban Decay, I've tried MAC, I've tried all of those, you know? I just don't like them. Like they're just, ugh, but I love this. So I just thought I'd let you know, because I really do like it a lot. I've been using it a lot and it's kind of just been making me look like real, real flawless. No pressure. Um, these are super random, but they're lashes, new lashes from this brand called Love Scene. Uh, this is a brand that was started by, oh my God, I just forgot her name. Hold on, this is really good. That's really gonna bother me. Jenna Lyons, come on. Jenna Lyons, look at, we're wearing like similar makeup right now. Baller. Yeah, so anyway, Jenna Lyons and then somebody else, and I can't, I can never remember who he was or is. Uh, it's a new lash brand, they're synthetic. Cruelty free. I really love these so much. The packaging is really interesting. Like I just like the branding. These are the newer, no, Inez, Inez, in the style Inez. And they're segmented lashes like this. So you can kind of like pick and choose and customize like how you wear them. And I've been using like the outer one. I like to use this one and then some of the inner ones. They're so great. I love them so much. And they have like a really unique flair. Uh, I'll insert a photo of me wearing them because they just like, Oh, they just elevate and they're really unique. Like I just love, I just love the way they look. And I haven't seen like a ton of lashes that look like this. Highly re recommend this brand. Yeah, I don't know. They're just really cool. I like them a lot. So if you're looking for like different lashes, I feel like everything's just like the same, you know? Plus they're synthetic, which I always love. You know what? Wasn't planning on putting it in this video, but I am wearing one of the um, Jen Atkin Elf lipsticks. It's the red one and <sighs> It's like $8 and it's pretty fire. I didn't use the lip liner, but I did use the lipstick and like, are you kidding me? So honorable mention, <laughs> Elf Jen Atkin lipsticks. Speaking of skin and next up, and I don't know if I've ever put this in like a favorites video, but recently I've been, I don't know, I was kind of in this weird in-between place where I had been using the Rare Beauty Foundation when my skin was dry and it was winter and now I'm kind of feeling like this weird spot where I can't use anything that's like quite too matte or too dewy, you know? So my go-to and the foundation that never fails me is the Elsie Cosmetics Micro Silk Foundation. This is a little bit controversial just because the shade that's closest to me is Cameo, which is what this is, but you guys know me, I'm super olive and it's really hard to find a foundation that matches me. So I actually mix my Makeup Forever uh, Redness Corrector Primer into it to make it more olive. Uh, and I can get it like pretty pretty close to my skin tone. So it's unfortunate because they don't have a huge shade range, but the formula is just perfect. It's perfection. It's absolutely stunning. It looks like skin when you put it on. Like every single time I get compliments on my skin, people ask me what foundation I'm wearing, it's this one. <laughs> so it, like I said, it kind of sucks because they don't have a, a gigantic shade range, but if you're able to find something close enough, I would try to find some kind of a color corrector. The Makeup Forever ones are great. If you can still find the NYX ones, those are more affordable. Uh, those are great too. And just kind of like custom it because it's probably one of the best foundations I've ever, I would put it in my top tier list. One of the best foundations that I've ever used. And my skin loves it like every time of the year, which is, which makes it just like even better. Um, next up is a kind of a new find, but I already know that it's going to be just an OG fave. So these are the new uh, Kosas Air Brow, what do you call it? Pop, mm, gel? <laughs> Colored brow gel. So Kosas just like came out with this. And first of all, the packaging, adorable obsessed with it. Look at this. It's so cute. You know, absolutely love it. The embossing, like fantastic, like translucent pink. I just, I, I love it. I'm actually not wearing it today because I was trying out a different brow gel from NYX uh, drugstore, but, and I started doing my brows darker and they, they only sent me a light color. So I need to pick up a darker color. This is the only brow gel that has color in it that has ever really held my brow hairs. The only one. I was shocked when I used it. So it's kind of like a typical, you know, there's nothing like super fancy about the applicator or um, the colors or anything like the colors are nice. It's got little fibers. It's obviously got color. That's the whole point of it. It's like, you know, whatever, but it really holds the hair. Like it really holds. And I was like blown away by it. That's never happens with brow gels. They always let me down. So if you're looking for new brow products uh, or a new brow gel that has color to it, 
highly recommend. All right, next up, I've talked about a million times, but I just wanted to reiterate because I've kind of been in this place. I'm, I'm sort of experimenting with my skincare. Basically, I've been watching a ton of Hiram videos, okay? I'm experimenting with my skincare right now. One thing that will never ever change are my Peter Thomas Roth cucumber products. So as far as masks go, I've loved masks here and there. There are plenty that I love, but the ones that are like my absolute OGs that I can always count on that always just like help soothe my skin are the Peter Thomas Roth, this cucumber mask. Uh, I mean, I go through these, I can't even tell you how much. They are not cheap, but they are so worth it. And then to, you know, just to add to this, the under eye, the cucumber under eye gels also by T Peter Thomas Roth. They're just fantastic. They're so amazing. I don't really understand the use of a mask unless it's like hydrating and soothing, you know? I don't know why, but like other masks, like exfoliating masks or charcoal masks, all of those kinds of things, I'm just like, eh. I want my mask to just feel like I'm like feeding my skin hydration, like all the things it needs, you know? And this absolutely does that. It's so, it's just so comfy. It's, it's comfy, it's just like a hug from my skin. It's like a cool hug from my skin. Um, and I highly recommend it. And it's never going away. Okay, this next one is a home, it's a home thing. The way I said home, home, do I say that weird? Home. Uh, any of the nest, um, what is this, a diffuser? Any of the nest diffusers. Ugh, ugh. So I got kind of weirded out about burning candles just cause like you're burning something and you're breathing it in. You know, and I don't have, I don't, it's not like I live in a gigantic house. I'm in a two bedroom apartment here. So there isn't like so much room for the smoke to go. So I was like, you know what? Diffusers are probably better. Oh my God, this, <clears throat> the smell. Okay, so I've tried Veluspa, which is like fine. They're good. Uh, I have that one in my bathroom. I can't remember what scent that is. The Nest ones are amazing. I have the linen one in my bedroom. What is this one? Oh my God, apricot. Dude, is this cream blush on my hand? Now I'm really worried about this white shirt that I'm wearing. What did I say this was? Apricot tea. So delicious. It's fruitier, but it's got like a little bit of the Chloe Nomad vibe, which I think is why I love it so much because that's my favorite perfume. And it's just so fresh and it smells so good. This is in my living room. Oh, the best. And they last, they really last. And they're attractive, you know? So I highly recommend these if you're looking for like fresh scents, uh, or if you just love scents in general, I highly recommend Nest. They're the best. Nest is the best. So embarrassing. Oh, love, love it. <laughs> I need to get all of these. Where am I gonna put this? Um, okay, I have some fashion things to share, which I'm always a little bit like on the fence about because I'm not like a fashion blogger or anything, you know? Um, so like, I don't know if people care, but if you do, I wanna share with you the things that I love. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, the first one is probably like kind of, I don't know. I feel like this is so polarizing because like people feel very strongly about anything that the Kardashians create. But I have to say that Skims is like, I mean, you've seen me wear this a million times probably. Skims has my favorite everything. Like I have so many colors of these like tops with the like high neck. First of all, her cuts fit your body so Perfectly. I have fitted tees, these things. I have the boyfriend, the boyfriend fits are so comfy. The, I have the boyfriend short sleeve tees, long sleeve tees. I just got the new like pajama, like satiny pajama sets. I have all, all my underwear, all my bras are skims. Um, some Calvin Klein too, but like basically everything is skims. I have the robes, I have sweatshirts. I, ha I, I, I realize that I'm just sounding like a shill for skims. They don't pay me. <laughs> they actually did send me a Valentine's Day um, box, which was so sweet. And I didn't share it because I don't really share PR. It was like underwear. I wasn't gonna like take a pic in that. That's not like not my vibe, but I, everything, I love it. I love them. I think they're fantastic. So I don't know. I just feel like I have to tell you that because I just fucking love everything that they make. They just have the best, the best, especially basics. And if you if you were like on the fence about it, but you you had to pick up anything, I would highly recommend just like the tees, the basic. Oh, I have the body suits, just like the long sleeve basic tees, these kinds of tanks, the boyfriend tees, just because they're so comfortable and like perfect. Like they just fit so perfectly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel kind of weird talking about it just cause I feel like so many people hate 
them or they just like kind of assume that you're like being paid or something but I'm not so I really love it plus it like matches my hair okay the next thing that I want to share super exciting all right so if you guys know Katie like who doesn't formerly known as Lustrelux um still sort of I think she's still Lustrelux on Twitter Anyway, she launched 30 Years, her new clothing brand. And when she launched it, I bought, wait, do I not have all the colors? Where did I drop, did I drop the white ones? I think I dropped the white ones. Um, I purchased the sweat shorts and the bike shorts. And then I got my boyfriend a tea. Oh, I got a, I got a, a tea and I got my boyfriend a tea. The bike shorts are what I wanna share with you because they are perfect. She absolutely nailed it. Uh, so I purchased the black ones to begin with. And I don't really know like what I can tell you about them, except that they're super comfy, super duper thick. I love a thick waistband. I hate it when biker shorts have these like tiny little waistbands. The thing that I love about them the most is that not only are they like super durable, like really, really thick, you don't have to worry about like, like they're, if you wanted to work out in them, they're for sure squat proof. You know what I mean? Like you're all set. Um, but my favorite thing about them is the length of the inseam. Like this obviously isn't gonna give you any insight, but um, maybe I can insert a picture of me wearing them. The length is so perfect. My, my other favorite biker shorts are from Athleta, which are very expensive, and they have like awkward sizing. Like some of them are a little too long and then some are like real short, like real short, you know? Um, and they kind of like ride up. These don't, they're literally the perfect length. So highly recommend them if you're looking for biker shorts. Summertime for me, is like oversized tee biker shorts. I hate being hot and I just have no energy to put into my outfits. So that's my go-to. It's just like comfortable and it's cool. And then you can kind of like play with your accessories to make it look like elevated, which is another thing that I want to talk to you about. <laughs> but the reason that I wanted to talk about these is because they're not just black. She recently launched more colors. So she launched these like bomb ass, kind of like camely nude color which is like very unique i haven't really seen this in like a biker short she also launched like a really beautiful um like charcoal gray charcoal gray and then there's white uh which obsessed obsessed with the white uh, i dropped them they i picked up a pile they must be in my bedroom i'll insert a photo of me wearing those they're so good now someone did ask me if they are see-through or if they're like squat proof the white ones i will say are like, they're super thick. And if you're just walking around, I think you'll be good. You know, like if your butt's showing. I wore mine with like a long button down and I was all set. It didn't really matter if like the wind blew my like button down, you know what I mean? If you bend over, questionable. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> but just the white ones, like the the nude definitely isn't, isn't see-through or anything. It's just like, because white, you know, it's white. Okay, denim is tough. Denim is really difficult. I, especially I'm short, super short, I'm 5'2". I realize I have gigantic man hands and super long arms. So everybody thinks I'm like at least 5'8". I'm not, I'm mini. And denim is really tough. I always have a hard time finding something that's going to fit my waist and my butt, you know, and be comfortable because 100% raw denim, no. She can't breathe. I can't breathe or eat or anything or move. You know, it's so uncomfortable. So I wanted to share with you, these jeans are from a Goldie. They're high-waisted and they're kind of like distressed, light wash denim. They are, I wish that you could touch them. They are so soft and like comfortable. They fit perfectly, but you can breathe in them. You know what I mean? Like they give you such a perfect shape. Like they fit everything, but they're not like constricting. They're, they're just my favorite jeans. They're the most comfortable jeans that I own. And if I'm gonna go out to dinner, this is what I'm gonna wear so that I can actually like eat and breathe, you know? Cause I feel like most of my jeans are just like so constricting around the waist and I just feel like I'm gonna die. They stretch really nice and they're just soft and they don't like make me feel like I'm gonna die. Um, what size do I wear? I don't know if it matters. Uh, these are a 27. Um, I'm typically like between a two and a four, uh, if that makes any sense. These are probably closer to a four. But yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. A Goldie is expensive. But when it comes to denim, I really think that like spending money on good denim is really important. I like other pants. I'm like, screw it. I'll just like buy 
you know, off ASOS or something, find something for like 20 bucks, whatever. It doesn't really matter to me, but denim is so important. <laughs> like, I just feel like you need quality. So if you were curious about a Goldie, highly recommend. I'll obviously link all the specifics down below, but highly recommend a Goldie jeans. Um, and then I want to talk about two accessories and um, one of them really isn't cheap and I apologize, but I just want to share, I don't know, whatever. Con the Converse All Stars platform. These are the best. They're just the best. So I am like a boots person. I'm not really like, I don't really wear heels. Bo boots all the time for me, just boots. But boots can look kind of like fancy, you know what I mean? Like if I'm wearing boots and I, but I want it to be like a little bit more casual. So what I love about the Converse All Stars uh, the platforms is that they give me height because like I said, I'm 5'2", I'm super mini and they're just like a classic style, you know, super comfy. These are so dirty. I need, to walk. I need to clean them. But they have that boot style without being like too fancy, you know, like you can dress them down or dress them up. They're just kind of like this nice in between. And another really nice thing about Converse is that you can customize. So I actually customized these so that I had because I have the white ones with like silver you know, silver um, hardware or whatever you want to call that, keyholes. What are these called? Eyelet things. Uh, so I customized these. So I did the black with the red inside and then the gold. And then this is actually cream. It's not white. Just so that I, it would go with like different accessories and stuff. So that's kind of where I like to have fun and like mix things up is with my accessories. I just love, I just love these. I think they're like such a staple in a wardrobe and they're just like perfect because they're nice and like cinched at the ankle, so they go really well with shorts, which is one of my things, you know? But yeah, they go well with like jeans, shorts, sweatpants, leggings, whatever you wanna wear, they just go with absolutely everything. So I just recommend them, I don't know. I never know what to say in these videos. I'm always just like, I like it, I don't know, like, I just like it. I'm just trying to think, what did I talk, did I talk about all these things? So the La Mer part powder was sent to me. I do get LCPR sometimes. The Airbrow was sent to me. I bought the Nest, I bought the first, 30 years shorts, but then she sent me PR after that. I buy all my skims. Um, I bought the Converse, I bought the jeans. So only like some, a couple of things, mostly like, oh, I buy the Peter Thomas Roth. I just feel like I should tell you like what I purchased and what I received. Uh, and then the last thing, okay. I've talked about designer accessories a couple times and that's pretty much like if I'm gonna buy anything designer, it's gonna be an accessory. It's not gonna be like big, like clothing items, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, it just feels like such a waste. And before I show it to you, I just want to say that when I do buy designer, with the exception of like maybe two pieces that I own, I always purchase from a, like a consignment type shop. So I wanted to share with you this little pouch, a uh, little Louis pouch, which I've been loving. It has a, a t two detachable straps. So it has like a shoulder strap and then this little gold guy. And I never buy this shit full price. It's like buying a car. Don't ever buy a brand new car. It's a waste of money. It immediately starts to depreciate in value. So I got this on the real, real, no, rebag. There's a few of them. There's the real, real, real ba rebag, fashion file. There's like a bunch of these things where it's like consignment, like luxury shit. Highly recommend that. You can like search by the condition of the item. So you can put in like pristine, which was like, is like brand new or whatever. And it's probably not gonna be like that much of a discount. Excellent, great, good, fair. You know what I mean? Like they tell you, and then they give you a really great description of like the quality of the items. So I got this consignment, cheaper. That's the way to do it. The majority of my uh, designer stuff that I have, that's what I do. I've really been loving it. It's uh, it, it just kind of goes with everything. It's like, obviously it's, you know, the LV shit, it just goes with, it's like a classic print. By all means, no one needs designer. And if you don't, if you're not into it, like, fuck it. But if you do really like this stuff, I highly recommend checking out like a consignment website because it's just like such a waste to spend full price on the shit. Um, and I maintain you should never buy a car, a brand new car or a lease. What a waste of money that is. Don't lease. But yeah, I've really been loving it. It goes with absolutely everything. It actually goes really well with my like Converse. I don't know. I really like styling outfits. I really do. I enjoy it. I don't feel like I have a very particular style or the stuff like the stuff that I have is like so unique or anything like that. But if you did, would be interested in more like styling videos, let me know. Cause that would be kind of fun. I guess that's it. Those are all the things that I've been loving. I just kind of feel like those are all, um, including the makeup. They're all things that like, I know 
like life is kind of coming back right now. Like I just got a notification that LA is gonna be like open in June and I'm just like, life is back. So I'm like excited to be like, I can't wait to put on like my outfits and like my makeup and like actually go out into the world and like do things. <laughs> so uh, let me know if this is something that you want to see more of. I can definitely do them more. Maybe you can give me a little bit more like um, direction on, I don't know, make specific categories like of favorites. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you to Karma for sponsoring part, the first part of this video. And if you are interested, in it, make sure you check out the link down below. It's free to sign up, so like you don't have to worry about it. Like you can dip your toes in if you want, you know. But trust me, you won't regret it. Um, all right, guys. I guess that's it. I'm gonna go. Bye.